Brandon with Go Hunt. Uh, we just wanted to put a, a little video series together explaining some of the opportunity that's still available. A good, a good opportunity that a lot of the Western states put out are secondary or leftover draws. They're, they're typically leftover permits um, that didn't go into the initial draw. The state offers them to people to try and pick up as a, you know, as a, another opportunity to get out west. We're going to dive into some of the complications or some of the unique aspects of these secondary draws and, and what they all entail. Some of the things that we'll mention throughout the, the video is our insider product. If you're not an insider and want to take advantage of those tools, use the promo code STRAT50 uh, when you do sign up and that'll give you 50 points to the gear shop. Okay, we're going to jump into the next leftover secondary draw, which is Wyoming's. Their application period opens June 21st and it closes on June 25th, so it's only open five days. Uh, pretty tight window. Some unique things about the Wyoming draw, there's no app fees and points don't apply. So it's, it's kind of a catch-22. You're not, you know, the points that you have accrued, if you have, aren't, aren't giving you any advantage at all. It's a pure random draw. On the flip side, they don't burn any points if you do draw. So it's, it, it opens the door, you know, that the cost to, to get in this isn't as high as, as, say, Nevada was, where you do purge your points if you draw a permit in there. Again, the state is going to generate a list of permits that's available. So as opposed to, to filtering through and trying to find opportunity, you're going to take the opportunity that the state gives you, jump into the insider platform, um, go through those, those individual unit profiles, whether it's a general deer permit that might be available or you know a lot of the antelope permits uh, become available. You can jump into those unit profiles, figure out if it's something that uh, you're open to or, or you think you can have success with. Uh, one thing I'm going to jump to right away, with that, our product's going to explain, you know, what the access is like. A lot of these permits are left over for a reason. Last bullet point on the list, the permits are remaining for a particular reason. In Wyoming's case, a lot of times it's areas with restricted access. So a lot of times it's large private land chunks within a unit boundary, you know, just not a ton of public access. And so the demand just isn't there for these permits. Not meaning, you know, that doesn't mean that you can't go up there, find a chunk of public, um, or even find some access for, for different species on private land. But just be cautious, you know, there, there is a reason these permits are left over. The unit profiles are gonna help explain a lot of that. If there is a barrier to entry for a particular unit, um, they're, they're gonna, gonna lead you on as, to, as why a permit might be available. From there, um, some unique things, residents on residents can apply in the same party. So if you wanna, you know, if you wanna party app, say your entire group that you hunt with didn't drop permits this year, um, they still want to get out this fall. You can put up to six people on a party, even if they're, you know, a Wyoming resident and you're a non-resident, you can go up there. And a little, little bit of information, uh, more than one permit. Uh, it is possible in the state of Wyoming to obtain more than one permit per species. There are some, some, you know, complications or details there. We'll drop a link in the video to the, to the page on Wyoming's website that does a great job of explaining that you know, what species you can or what types of permits, you know, when you start talking deer, you know, type three permits are typically white hill, you know, you can have more of those than, than a type one permit. And with antelope, you know, your, your doe antelope, those reduced price elk tags, different things like that. You can have more than one permit in the state of Wyoming, which is nice. If you do have a permit already, you know, it's still an option to you. But again, Wyoming is a great opportunity state overall. Um, there's a, there's a ton of species to hunt up there, a lot of fun species to hunt. So check out the, the Wyoming leftover draw. Again, some of those permits may be, may be resident tags that are left over and now available to non-residents. Um, could be some, some private public land issues that you're looking at. Um, but overall, short application period. Um, you typically know the first part of July what the results are, and so you can still have plenty of time to, to plan and prepare and, and you know make a good hunt plan if you do draw a permit. So.